Here's Calderon. Thomas is screen on Collison. Calderon against Collison. Takes a three. And again, New York with the triple. Just too dangerous for a shooter to leave alone from beyond the arc. The Kings trail by 18. There's a screen. Rondo kicks to Gay. Collison gets a wide open look. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And how about that? Responding to the three pointer against them with a quick one of their own. Terrific little tay to tay going on right now. Back and forth. Here we go. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. A strong season from Darren Collison cut short last year. Greg shut down at the end of last February. Yeah, he, he had that issue with his hip, and that kind of ended things for him in what had been a promising season. A shame since he was having the best of his career today. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Hey, guys. Well, Kurt Rambis had some advice for the team in that last break. He was propping his guys up for their defensive pressure, saying, listen, the pressure you put on them has been fantastic. Keep pestering them, keep forcing turnovers, and we'll be in a great position to win this thing. Collison was having a career year last year, guys. I mean, 16 points a game was a career high for him, and he also shot more threes than ever before. Pass to O'Quinn. There's the dish to Calderon. Williams against Gay. From deep, AC with the rebound. The Kings trail by 15. And I think even in the injury short. Jordan season, Carlson showed he is still a starter in the NBA. Now, he's been used as a, a super sixth man in the past, but he's just as effective, I believe, at starting the game. Williams gets the bucket. And he's made more than his fair share of those today. Kings have gotten seven of their eight shots to fall here in the fourth. A tremendous offensive outburst. Dishes it to McLemore. Over in the corner, AC. Upside Rondo. And the foul on Kyle O'Quinn. That's foul number two for him. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, Greg, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. Anthony's checked in for Derek Williams. To the inside. It's tipped. Stolen by O'Quinn. It's Anthony with the drive. And the layup is good. Anthony's got 42 in the game. No, oh, it's scary because he's just been a matchup nightmare in this game. He's eaten up anybody they've thrown at him. Rondo passes to Gay. Takes the 13-footer. That one bounces around and comes back out. The Knicks leading by 17. A shot by Anthony. Nobody around. And again, it's New York. I tell you what, I don't know what he did in the locker room, but he needs to do a little bit more of it because he's on fire. Rondo dishes to Gay. They set the pick. Pass to Cousins. The shot no good. Good work defensively by Anthony. New York's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Out of bounds, Sacramento takes possession. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. The Kings trail by 19. And here's Rondo. Here's Gay. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Gay's got 43 points. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. And O'Quinn kicks to Anthony. Stolen by Gay. And oh, here we go. Gay's got it. The fast break chance. Rudy Gay playing very well, 43 points, and from downtown, he's buried three three-pointers. Well, when he squared himself up and gotten good looks, he's knocked them down. Remember, for a long time, flopping was like the number one concern in the NBA. I mean, it still happens a lot, but the rules have curbed it quite a bit. We have seen less and less flopping the last few years. And here's Anthony for three. That drops. Anthony's got seven points for the quarter. Wow. What can you say? 
Here's Gay outside, and he gets the bucket. He has been fantastic this quarter, guys. It's just the kind of effort they need if they're going to continue to trim the lead. From deep, Anthony can't hit. The Kings trail by 15. Outside Rondo. To the middle, here's Cousins. Soft touch off the glass. Chris pass into the paint. For New York, they've gone 8 of 11 from the field in the final period. Great shooting down the stretch. O'Quinn, the pass to Calderon. Anthony against Gay. It's Anthony with the drive. Rondo with the steal. And now Sacramento on the break. Finished off the break. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's because the ball is looking for the best shot, and it's really paid off for them during the run. Here's Anthony. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Anthony's got 49 points in the game. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. He see, and he fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. That's his third personal foul. Shooting for New York, Quincy AC. At the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. Zinkis, he's checked in for the Knicks. A follow comes in for Langston Galloway. That misses, so he splits the free throws. The Knicks leading by 12. And here's Anthony for three. That's good. Anthony's got 52 points. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Throws it up high. They grab their own miss. Cousins with the bucket. Cousins has got four points in the quarter. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. And here we go. Fast break. McLemore has got it. And a great job of taking advantage of the steal there to get those easy ones in transition. You know, that's exactly how you draw it up, Greg, on the board. I mean, good defensive work, aggressive play in the open court. Those two things are hand in glove when they work together. And, 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 you know, Rondo, a strange year shooting the ball last season. For a good stretch, he was shooting the same from the free throw line as he was from three-point range, about 30%. Greg, you were talking about Rondo and his shooting woes have been well-documented. Uh, Clark, he tried to tap into Dirk's old shooting coach to help him out while in Dallas. You know, a good portion of this might be mental at this point for Rondo. He is getting to the point in his career where I think it is what it is for him in regards to his shooting. And what a tremendous game for Lopez. He's got 17 points, and the contribution from the line for him, he's made five free throws. I mean, he hasn't been afraid to draw a little bit of contact on his way to the basket. Some guys shy away from that. The pass to Persingas. Some nice passing by New York here. He kicks it to Anthony. A follow up top. Lopez a screen. Shot clock at five. That ball's nice feed this time from Jose Calderon. Calderon's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Rondo dishes to Gay. McLemore with the ball. Shoots the three. Rebounded by Anthony. Anthony's got three rebounds now in this one. A follow outside. Anthony kicks to Lopez. And the shot is good. Lopez has got 21. He's flipped the script here in this half, shooting a much higher percentage from the field. Now a time.
called by Sacramento. You have to like what we're seeing from Carmelo Anthony. And he's getting to the rack all game, and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? Yes, Kevin, over that break, I was able to catch the message George Carl was giving to his team. He said their plan was to run their offense through Gay. Coach emphasized getting him as many touches as possible, saying he is going to be one of the guys to carry us the rest of the way. With the minutes ticking down and the deficit still a big one, those adjustments have to be a chance worth taking, Kevin. Thanks again, Doris. Lopez, no luck. The Kings trail by 15. Here's McLemore and power down the jam. Come on, fella. Power it down. <laughs> that dunk was ridiculous. Was, <laughs> there was absolutely nobody that was going to get in the way of that. And not when he's coming in with that kind of force. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in budgets. Calderon against Rondo. He dishes it to Gay. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Gay's got 52 points. This quarter has brought out the best in him, fellas. Even though they're still trailing, he's been impossible to contain. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And he knocks down the first one. Your next freestyle for Singus. Taking two shots. That one is no good. The Kings trail by 14. McLemore, the pass to Rondo. The drive by Gay. And the powerful one-handed slam. You can't say enough about his individual performance. I don't think you can overstate it. I mean, even if the all-around team effort's been lacking, this guy's been on top of things. Outside Anthony. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Fellas, that two-hand monster slam was vicious. <laughs> I don't think there was anyone, and I mean anyone, that could have stopped him on that one. I tell you what, I'm glad they didn't try, because somebody might have got their feelings hurt. I tell you what, fellas, we're seeing some really good ball movement out there. Definitely. Ten of their last 12 points have come off assists. Releases. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's going to be on Rudy Gay. First one falls for him. The free throw is good from Anthony. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. And there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for the Knicks. The blocking really turned things into their favor this time. Well, Kevin, timing and anticipation, they got the blocks, and that definitely changed the momentum in this one. And now on the year, this will take them to 28 wins. And after dropping game one in this matchup, they managed to take the second of a three-game season series. No question, that's a morale booster. And partner, it sets up what should be a fantastic finale to the season series. A major bragging rights on the line that night. And what a huge standout performance it was for Anthony. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. Well, they're going to walk out of here with a win and send this crowd home happy. Yeah, you know, it was a real solid performance for them in a lot of areas. I mean, they should be proud of their work tonight. The clock now can just run out for the Knicks. From deep three-point range, can't get it to fall. So no problem. Jose can... The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now let's move on to the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Carmelo Anthony. It was lights out shooting at its best from him in this game. 60 plus points is rarefied territory that few players ever see in the NBA. 
but we saw it here tonight. Truly jaw-dropping. One thing that stood out to me was his contribution from deep. We know.